Caitlin. Hi. It's so lovely to be with you today and meet you for the first time. I thought what better way to reel you into the Katie ASMR universe than to um, give you a makeup treatment today and a luxurious facial spa experience. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you so much for having me. Great. Is there anything in particular that you would like to um, achieve in terms of your look? I'm looking for a casual look, but a bit of a pop of color, a okay. nice summertime look. Nice, I can do that for sure. Your skin looks absolutely amazing um, as it is, but do you have any skin concerns, dryness, oiliness? I don't. Sometimes it is a bit dry though. Okay. We'll be focusing on a moisturizing serum and a moisturizer as well, okay? okay. So we'll take care of that, but um, it looks like very, very well perfused. You don't have any pores. I'm, you're very lucky to have the skin you have. Oh, thank and you. And it's a great palette to work on. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. So I'm going to start by just putting your hair in this headband just to get the bangs out of your face. Okay. So. My best to arrange it. Okay. Right. So looks very good. Um, just to get rid of the tangles, I'm going to just brush it through a little bit. Okay. See, we have a little animal companion, a little familiar here. Me too. His name is Theo. Hi, Theo. Theo would like uh, his or her. He's a boy. His spa treatment as well. Absolutely. Maybe that'll be another video in the future. Mm -hmm. Going to the cat spa. <laughs> okay. All right. So first, I'm going to go ahead and. Do a cleansing wipe just to remove any impurities or anything that you might have gathered throughout the day. Okay, this should feel very cool to the touch. So I'm going to start with a serum just to have a base underneath. This is a pore refining and brightening serum. It has vitamin C and tiny little micro retinol beads. Um, you do not have any signs of aging, but it does help to just refresh the skin and just smooth out any tiredness that you might accumulate. Okay, so you just need a few little drops. Wonderful. We're going to follow this with an oil-free facial moisturizer. Um, just for sensitive skin, this doesn't have any bells or whistles in it. It's just a really good base moisturizer to put underneath your makeup. It also acts as a primer, so um, it's going to feel very light.
beautiful. Your skin is looking really moist and healthy so far, so that's good. I'm going to do a smoothing treatment with a gua sha stick. It's made of jade, and it's just going to smooth out any impurities underneath the skin, so swelling. Um, I know I get puffy eyes a lot during the summer or all, actually all times of the year, so it really helps to just um, just relieve any swelling of the face that you might get, especially first thing in the morning. It's good to use if you have somewhere to go and uh, you want to relieve that morning face that we all get, um, which is natural, but uh, this is kind of a fun way to do it. And I'm going to be using a toner just to have a treatment that the stick will rub in, okay? So it's going to feel really nice and relaxing. You could close your eyes too. And just to put you in a further state of relaxation and to test the sensations in your face, I like to do a sharp or soft test, okay? So, I don't know if you feel the sensation, but that's going to be sharp. This sponge-like sensation will be soft. Do you feel the difference between the two? I do. Alright, go ahead and tell me which is sharp and which is soft, okay? Without further ado, I'm going to begin the makeup treatment. Um, this is a concealer that you put on beneath the foundation. You don't have a lot of blemishes, but I will highlight certain areas like underneath the eyes and any imperfections that I see just to even out your skin tone, okay? Okay. blending this using a brush
gently. Next I'll be putting on concealer. Okay, so this is a different stick. It has similar properties. It's a bit darker in tone and it's just going to go smoothly all over the face. It's very light, which is kind of what we want for a daytime summer look. Okay. Since we applied a lot of makeup friendly moisturizer before the foundation, it really makes a difference in how your skin soaks up the makeup and it just kind of blends in seamlessly, so that's really good. This shade is perfect for your skin. Um, if your face is a different shade than your neck when trying on a new foundation, that's a sign that it's the wrong shade. And this one is absolutely perfect. Okay. And this gives you a nice coverage without it looking like makeup, without looking like it's caked on because your skin is so good you really don't need that. You're, you have a rosy uh, face complexion, very natural flush of the cheeks, which is a great healthy look. Um, so I'm not going to pile blush on you, um, but I'm going to give you just a little bit of pink just to, just to brighten everything up. Okay. okay. So I'll just barely go on here. Okay. Mm. We have the soothing sounds of our cat eating lunch <laughs> in the background, which uh, is ASMR for me. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's a nice look. This is actually from my own collection. It's Ulta and I have to mix mine with something darker, but this is like perfect on you as it is. So that's cool. Okay. And before I do your eyebrows, I just want to do that light part right beneath them. This is a shade called Khaki. Okay, and it's just going to just have that nice contrast between dark and light underneath the eye. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Makes a little bit of sparkle in there because I can't hold myself. Very good. Yes. So your skin tone has a natural pinkish hue, which is really fun because you can play around with pinks. Um, I have kind of more of a darker complexion, so I can play around more with browns, but it's good to know what color complements your 
complexion. This is a brow brush. I'm just going to use it to fill in your brows. Um, they already look very well trimmed and I really like the thickness of them. But this is just to highlight uh, what you already have here. So just lightly brushing in the brows. And when doing the brows, if you want a real natural look that's still full, as opposed to drawing over your brows in the shape that you want, it's always a good idea to look at what you already have and just fill in um, the parts that are sparse. We all have little patches, tiny little patches in our eyebrows that um, are more bald than the other parts. So if you just focus on those parts, leave the other parts um, as they are, it achieves a more natural look than So that's what you have right here, which is good. Are you familiar with the eyelash curler? I'm not. Okay, so you've never used one? I've not. Are you afraid of them? No. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. They look a little intimidating, but I promise that I just sanitized mine so it's completely clean. Um, so what I want you to do is just like make a zombie face, like your eyes are half half closed. Gotcha. So still open like them this. a little bit. Yeah. This. That's perfect. Okay. I'm just going to very gently Very good. Your eyelashes already have some natural curl to them, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I thought it'd be good to introduce a new trend. Let me know if I'm pulling you or hurting in any way. Okay, good. It looks really good. Okay. Alright. So next, I'm going to put a little bit of a darker shade right in between on the top of the lid and the bottom. Okay? So, I'm going to use mix a touch of what is called Dubai on this palette and then a touch of peachy as well. Okay. So this just gives you a beautiful kind of burnt blush look. So this is went on very lovely. I'm going to just use my thumb just to blend it in just a little bit. Very good. Okay. I'm going to be changing gloves now. to be honest, but I am just gonna just gonna fill your top lid, okay? I'm not gonna put any on the bottom. We're just gonna do mascara there. So just relax, relax your eyelid, and here I'm just gonna try to give you just barely a little pop here. Nothing too dramatic. Perfect. with the volumizing mascara. So I want you to kind of do it you do it right there as right where your eyes are now. That's perfect. <laughs> well, actually close them a little bit more, okay. Okay. 
open them a little more. Okay. Very good. Okay, now look up. All right, I'm just going to get the bottom just a touch because we don't want the running mascara if you sweat. But it's nice just to put a little bit on your bottom lid, especially if you don't use eyeliner there. So that looks really good. Okay. And for a lip, I'm going to just use the most neutral, um, close to nude shade as possible because just by looking at your complexion, I really think you would look better with a lighter um, lipstick. Um, because if you use a dark lipstick, it can compete with your eyes and you have very beautiful eyes that just pop. So it's, it's always good to like highlight one feature. Since I already put liner on the top here, your eyes are really standing out. I don't want to draw away from that. So okay. I'll just be using um, this Marvelous Moxie Buttercream. Okay. Okay, so your look right now is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to, as opposed to a setting spray, I'm going to use a finishing powder because I am seeing a little bit of shine. That's what natural, healthy skin does, especially in the summer months. But this is just to combat that, so you can just wear this out and uh, look not very sweaty um, for hours at a time. Okay, and then we'll be finished. She looks amazing. Yeah. And this stuff works really well. It's a HD photo finish. Um, so I'm not going to pile it on. I'm just going to give you a little, little bitty touch of it. A little goes a long way here. Okay. See how that instantly just kind of took away the shine, but you still look like you're glistening in a really good way. Um, so, okay. so we're almost finished with the look. I am going to take your hair down and just uh, brush it and maybe kind of sweep my hands through it to give it a little style. I see that. We got a bit of mascara on your hair. The cardinal sin <laughs> of any makeup application <laughs> is to get it in your hair. So. <laughs> That would be my bad. Okay. All right. Have a look and let me know what you think. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is the okay. perfect summer look. I love the lip color too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks great. Yes. Thank you so much. So yeah, I, start, I tried to stay lighter overall just to compliment your skin tone, but I gave you a little pop up of the eyelid with that liner. So it's always a good look for just uh, going out or whatever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to go enjoy my summer now. Great. Well, it was lovely to do this. Thank you for letting me do this uh, treatment on you. Thank you so much for having me. It was so yes. much fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, a little glitter here. <laughs> now you're perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katie.